is Carter Sports back. And today, we head out to USC, the Heritage Hall, and the Heisman is being returned. So let's go. And if you've been here before, can you please hit that like, please? And if you ain't subscribed, boy, you better subscribe. Disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. You could literally walk into that stadium yeah. and everybody wore your number. It's home. It's home. It'll yeah. always be home. We helped build that program. That's a place where I became a man. That's a place where that football field, that stadium, that fan base was my sanctuary for three years, right? And that's home. He is going to go. It's going to be another USC touchdown. Why the decision to stay in California? We felt like it was close to home. Uh, I'm a big track guy, so you know, obviously I want to run track. And uh, they got a great program. They only have one return running back. And best of all, I get to keep my number. <laughs> Something about tailback you. Congratulations. Enjoy your stay in Southern Cal. Thank you. Thank you. No one at this game to be played, but I'm no one at this game to be changed. I should be afraid of afraid. I'm just trying to live up to the man on my name. I'm just trying to live up to my moment on the stage. I'm just trying to live up to the truth of my pain and the power that it gave me on the youth for today. Second choice, the New Orleans Saints select Reggie Bush. Uh, and Drew called me to let me know the day before the draft, before the pick has even happened, that he was excited to play with me. Four years later, uh, we won the Super Bowl. We're part of... Uh, something special that had never been done before for the city of New Orleans. Bush will score, and it's the first NFL touchdown for Reggie Bush. And leaps for the touchdown. And touchdown, they're saying now. Now does. Reviewing the play, the receiver broke the play of the goal line. By the way, don't kick to Reggie Bush right now. They did, Mike. 40 yard, Reggie cuts it up the middle, explodes, and Supposed to be kind of taking it easy, right? Right, retiring, laid back, doing yeah, nothing. Too, running around it's not, in a great it's, chair anywhere. It's not my DNA, man. Yeah, you just right. relax and do nothing. Um, you know, we have our the Reggie Bush uh, charity weekend, uh, which you, if you guys want to take part in it, you can go to reggiebush.org. Um, and, and it's all about making an impact in the community. Um, this is where I grew up. This is home. So for me, being able to come back here annually every year yeah. is important to me. Trojan. Gag fight on forever is in the building. And the president, Mr. Bush, then got his Heisman Trophy back as it should be, as it should have never left. If I was Bush, I would have never gave it up. This is probably one of the most iconic college football players, period. And this is one of the most iconic sports stars, period. Reggie Bush was idolized. He was that dude. He was that dude plain and simple reggie bush at usc in his peak ain't nothing greater than that ain't no athlete you could point at that was more electrifying than he was at usc maybe michael jordan's career or something but reggie bush is a guy especially in la sports lore right especially in la sports lore it's the president what y'all talking about y'all must have forgot what this man was at his peak at USC. Y'all must have forgot. And this man mean everything to LA. Especially if you a football fan, Reggie Bush was balling out at USC when we didn't have no professional team. The Raiders and Rams had left. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have nothing. And on top of that, the Reggie Bush dynasty 
came in at the end of the Kobe and Shaq dynasty, kept LA going, kept LA the spot to be for sports. Kobe and Shaq had Staples Center, the place to be, all the stars on the sideline. Then Shaq went to Miami, but we still had Bush and Matt Liner. All the attention went from Staples Center to the Coliseum, and you saw all the stars on the sideline then. Why they come? To see that boy Bush play. Yes, they came because SC was popping in the championship team, but they came to see that boy Bush play. When Bush was in his prime, the ticket prices went up. You know what I'm talking about? Reggie Bush is iconic. One of the most iconic players in my lifetime. In my lifetime, the most iconic players on a football field. It started with Bo Jackson back in the day. Who old enough to remember Tecmo Bowl? Bo Jackson was the first 99 on Tecmo Bowl. He had to be 99 because we had a rule. Nobody can pick the LA Raiders because Bo Jackson was unstoppable. You could reverse field and run around players with Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson was the only player that could break the tackle if you called the right play on defense. You know, Tecmo Bowl, if you pick the play, the offense pick, the offensive line get blew up, the quarterback gonna get sacked, the running back ain't gonna get no blocks. Bo Jackson was good enough to break through all that. You could reverse field, you could run downfield, turn around and come back, right? He was the first iconic player that I remember as a kid, along with Jerry Rice and Joe Montana. But as a kid, plus he playing Tecmo Bowl, it was Bo Jackson. He was the highest rated player on that game. And then after Bo Jackson was iconic, he got hurt, prime time came, right? Prime time came, everybody wanted to be number 21. I remember being in elementary and junior high, my brother, he played high school football, he running back, he got number 21 because he wanted to be like Dion. Everybody in that era that played football, when we scored a touchdown, we did the Dion dance, right? Just like when you was in classroom and you shot that paper ball into the trash, you said Kobe, when you scored football back in the day, when Dion was playing, you did the Dion dance, right? And after Dion, it was Michael Vick and Randy Moss came and was iconic. Michael Vick, I think, was the first player on Madden with a 99 speed, right? And I think Randy Moss came in after that. Not after that, but no, Randy Moss came before Michael Vick. I think Rand I don't think Randy Moss speed was a 99, though. For if it was, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Michael Vick was the first player to get a 99 speed. Either way, either or, Michael Vick was iconic in his prime in Atlanta, and Randy Moss was iconic in his prime with Minnesota. He's a meme. You got Moss, right? His name is, 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 is disrespectful. If somebody put that on you, you know what I'm saying? He was iconic. Then after that, it was Reggie Bush. He was next in line to be iconic that everybody wanted to be. That number five. Everybody wanted to be that. Everybody. So y'all better remember who this man was in his prime. It was none more electrifying. It was none. And just think of the numbers he would have put up if he didn't play with Lindell White. Remember they had Thunder and Lightning. So Reggie Bush never had a career in college where he was getting 20, 25 carries every game. I remember it'd be 16, 17. Split it with Lindell. Lindell, they, Lindell probably had just as many as as Reggie. Just, just, just imagine if Reggie had the backfield to himself, how many touchdowns he would have got. I ain't saying he would have been better. Of course, he was just Reggie Bush. He was great. But his numbers would have been even more stupid if he didn't have to share carries with Lindell White. It would have been stupid. Then people want to say, well, his NFL career wasn't what? He finished with over, over 10,000 all-purpose yards. Right? He just didn't dominate the NFL like he dominated college, but he had them sick moments. Check his NFL highlights. He still was breaking, he still was doing Reggie Bush things. Reggie Bush was before his time, right? Reggie Bush should have been playing right now. Right now, Reggie Bush would be like a Debo Samuel. He'll be a wide receiver slash running back. You, you would use Reggie Bush like Debo now. He would just use wrong. You know what I'm saying? Jersey Bush should have never just been solely a running back. He should have been a wide receiver that could run the ball. 
I would have moved Reggie to the slot. You, I could see it in college because he was just deadly in space and, and he ran routes when he was a receiver in college, he was unstoppable. So I would have moved Reggie around instead of putting Reggie in the backfield the whole time where the, all 11 of the defenders could have eyes on him. When you line up in that backfield seven yards deep, the whole defense could see you, right? So I would have been moving Reggie around. The whole point was to get Reggie the ball in space. Just like you would do a Tyreek Hill, just like you would do a Debo and all these playmakers. Reggie Bush wasn't a running back or receiver. He was a playmaker. He was a magician with the ball in his hands. But it's hard to be a magician with the ball in your hand constantly when all 11 is looking for you. All 11 that watch you in college make people look silly. So Reggie Bush, when he was in the league, they, nobody never forgot what he done at USC. So even when y'all was feeling like, oh, Reggie ain't living up to the expectations, the end of the, 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 uh, the defensive coordinator game plan was still geared towards Reggie. Right? You don't want to let him in space, put him in a box. But even when, as his career progressed, he started running better between the tackles eventually, especially when he got to the Dolphins. He had some 1,200 yards. He had some 1,000 plus yards season rushing. But he always supposed to have been a dual threat. He always supposed to have been that wicked chess piece. Reggie Bush can make every move, right? Just like when you playing chess and a king and queen can make moves, other pieces can't, can't move. So why would you just keep him in the same position? Right? Move him around the whole board. And that's why he still had 10,000 all purpose yards. You know what I'm saying? So just because he didn't get it out the backfield, that don't mean he wasn't balling. He won a Super Bowl. I feel like he had a great NFL career. How many people could say they had all purpose 10,000 yards? But that's how great his college career was. That he had a 10,000 all purpose total yards for his career. And they say his career was disappointing. But that was just because how dominant he was in college. <laughs> how dominant he was in college, you probably would have thought he would have 20,000 all purpose yards, right? Right, but he was just before his time. He was before his time. Put Reggie Bush in the time machine and put him in the NFL now. I bet you he Debo Samuels upgraded. I bet you he Tyreek Hill upgraded. Right, because he gonna be a top five ride receiver and a top five punt returner and a kick returner, and he gonna be able to get it in the run game as well. <laughs> right, so Reggie Bush, man, welcome home, welcome back. Hope to see you at the Kali. Hope to see you at the Kali. You know what I'm saying? Right, I'm coming out with the team. With that Heisman Trophy or that flag, I don't care what you ain't got to have. Just come out with, with that team, man. Run out on that field. <laughs> Show up to a couple recruiting visits. Let's get it going. He cut. He Reggie Bush got reinstated just in time. To me, this is a sign for a great season for USC. This is this is a sign. USC fans, this is a sign that we finna get back in order. This is a sign. That order is going to be restored for USC. This is the beginning, y'all. I'm calling it right now. I feel it. Get Reggie Bush on campus. We already got BMW. We already got Big Mike Williams back. Now let's get Reggie Bush back on campus. We already got Aaron Donald rocking with us. Let's start throwing recruiting visits with Aaron Donald and Reggie Bush and Big Mike Williams there, man. Them kids ain't getting off campus without a commitment. You know what I'm talking about? So this is this is the beginning. This is this is the beginning of USC getting back restored. The president is back in office. And he better be on the cover of that NCAA 25. Right? Her talking about saving, okay. Well, let's make a Reggie Bush edition, the special edition. The next saving cover could be the basic little thing, right? We could have a Reggie Bush edition where you could relieve his, relieve his, 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 his Heisman season when you could go back to that era. They should do it like 2K uh, guy where you could play in the 80s era and the 90s eras. You know, they got the LeBron era, the Kobe era, the Jordan era, right? Now they need to have a Reggie Bush era. Ha <laughs> ha! And you only get that on the NCAA 25 Reggie Bush edition. 
You know what I'm talking about? He better be on that cover. I'm more excited for the game. They gonna have you back on the game with that 99 overall. I'm finna start my dynasty with USC way back in 2000 when, when Reggie Bush came. I'm finna start my dynasty. Reggie Bush, freshman, sophomore year. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and I'm gonna play all the way up to uh, season 2025. We live. You know what I'm saying? My PS5 been dormant. I ain't been playing it, but when this NCAA come out this year, I heard it's coming out June or July, son. You know what I'm saying? When I heard it's coming out. I'm finna plug that PS5 back up. Reggie Bush better be on the cover, and it better have a Reggie Bush error on that thing, and that's where I'm starting my season at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So until then, it's Carter Sports. It's USC. It's Trojan City, Bush back, so let's go.